Thank you, thank you. So, I wanted to start by exclaiming that I chose this outfit today. The point of the outfit was I wanted to present myself as confidently as possible, because I've not always been confident. Even something as simple as sunglasses, while they may appear that I'm trying to hide from you, they're actually in an attempt to reveal myself to you. Um, as I can recall, the first time that I was bullied, I was six years old. I was the new kid in town, I didn't know anybody, and there was a small group of boys in my neighborhood that I desperately wanted to be friends with. My parents had just bought me a new pair of sunglasses, so I figured I would just strut my way into the group, show off my new shades, and I'd be part of the team. Instead, what happened was one of the bigger boys stepped up to me. He asked me if I thought I was cool or something. He pushed me down, and he broke my sunglasses. And when I fell, I sprained my knee, I tore some ligaments, I was on crutches for a while, which is really ridiculous when you're six. And uh, the physical pain, while it hurt, was nowhere near as important as the emotional pain. From that day forward, and because of other factors, I started to equate wearing sunglasses with being cool. I wasn't cool, so I couldn't wear sunglasses. And this was kind of a spiral effect for me. It didn't help that I was short, I was shy, I was skinny, I was the middle child in between two particularly difficult children. I was part of a military family, so I was constantly traveling around. I didn't have any long-term friendships. I was a bit of a crybaby. So all of these factors led to me being the perfect target for most of the school bullies. Now, once I transitioned into middle school, possibly the worst thing that could have happened happened. I went from being five foot tall to six foot two. I towered above the rest of my class. I could no longer hide in plain sight, so I was forced to try and fit into their parameters of what I thought cool would be. I joined sports teams, but even at the height of my athletic career, I was six foot two, wrestling at 125 pounds, a real Greek god. So, <laughs> none of this worked out for me. I continued to allow these negative influences to determine who and what I was. It led to spiraling depression, self-esteem issues. I fell in with a poor group of friends because they had no real means of you know, what the inclusion meant. They just took everyone. I turned to drugs and alcohol. And uh, life after high school was not very easy for me. And then one day I met my friend Ben. And I think everyone knows somebody like Ben. Ben was not just loud. Everything he did, he dialed up to 11. His clothing came in two colors, dark black and dark charcoal. The only exception to that being these bright green croc shoes that he would wear everywhere, along with a baseball cap that he had shoved spikes through. And Ben wasn't necessarily who I wanted to be. He was what I wanted to be. He made his presence known. Everywhere he went, he exhumed confidence in himself. He enjoyed things that most other people didn't, but by his excitement in it, he drew other people to him. He listened to terrible music. He had terrible taste in clothing. He watched anime. He read comics. He skateboarded everywhere, even though he was old enough to drive. And all of these things were exactly who I wanted to be at that point. So I started to, uh, little by little, I started to emulate those, those characteristics. I started to become more excited about things that I enjoyed something really cool happened. I realized that other people liked movies, so I could share that with them. Most people didn't care that I'd seen all 400 episodes of Dragon Ball Z multiple times. In fact, <laughs> they enjoyed that I was capable of talking about that. I know every iteration of Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Most people didn't care, but it came in handy when the Marvel movies got popular. <laughs> so all of these things led to me surrounding myself with other positive, like-minded people. I broke out of the shell of what other people wanted me to be, and I started becoming who I wanted to be, someone that I was proud of. This led to me meeting my wife, who's easily the most positive influence in my life. I now have two little boys who I love and, and cherish deeply, and I try to enlighten them with these same characteristics in this thought process that allowing those negative people to dictate who you are will not ever make you happy. Become somebody that you're proud of being, do the things that you enjoy doing, and the world will be a better place as a result of your love and your passions. That's it.